Good morning. All right, starting. What's today? Wednesday off with this Instacart. It's not really the best order. Nineteen dollars sixty-five cents. Going five point three miles. Thirty-five items. Only one customer though. Shopping at Food Lion. Hello. Hello. All right, got the next Instacart. $24.39, 5.1 miles, 22 items, 25 units. Shopping at Food Lion. All right, right after dropping off the Instacart, or no, right before I dropped off the Instacart, I turned on Uber and I got this one. It's not really that great of an order, but it keeps me out towards all the rest of the restaurants and Wegmans and Giant and Aldi, even though that's, you're never gonna get an order at Aldi. But the Uber is six bucks for like four miles. Uh, two of them are driving to the Chick-fil-A and then like I said, it leaves you in the area that you're near to get another good order. All right, y'all got some Chick for Ray action. Chick for Ray. Is it racist to say it like that? I don't even know why I'm saying it like that, but it seems kind of racist. Oh, that one made me smile. I got the full payout immediately on Uber. You know what that means. That person didn't leave a tip at all. And I've definitely delivered to them on DoorDash. They're probably just like, these delivery people suck. And they stop tipping. I, I'm not surprised that people don't tip for uh, DoorDash and Uber because you know there's so many people out there just being dirty. The apps are dirty. The way that they, you know, if you do tip, they leverage your tip to get someone else that didn't tip their order faster. Like, that whole situation is a nightmare. All right, I got this Instacart. It was $34, going like three or four miles, 22 items. I had to shop at Food Lion, which I already did, and all the order at Food Lion was was a bunch of pork chops. And I haven't looked at what it is a giant yet. All right, y'all, so I'm slacking. I didn't film any drop-off action for either one of those Instacarts because both customers are outside and it's raining and I just, I didn't feel like it. So got both those Instacarts dropped off. And then immediately after that, they sent me another one. It's only 11 something, picking up six bags. So I don't got to shop and I'm back at the Giant <clears throat> sitting here waiting for them to come out. All right, so the best part about this Instacart, I forgot to say how many miles, it's three miles, but three miles headed right back towards my house, so. Perfect order. Then, uh, Miss Barbara, if you're an OG to the channel, you'll know. She's one of the people who, she's the only person who is me as, she has me as her favorite chopper and she's the only person who ever uses it. She has me scheduled to do an order at 215, it's about 110, so she always gives me a really good tip. So I'm, I'm ready to start her order. Got another Instacart. I had to put my raincoat on. It is freaking pouring. This one is 44 bucks. Going 10 miles. 59 items and there's three customers. And what sucks about it is it's almost two o'clock. And like I told y'all, Miss Barbara scheduled with me my favorite shopper for me to shop for. And it says I can start at 2.15, but I just got this order at two. But I know I have like two or three hours to do it. But when somebody schedules with me, I want to do it first, but I'm not turning down this $44. Like, I'm getting that money.
All right, I got the first Instacart dropped off. There's a little lady, old lady I delivered to like a week ago. She gave me four dollars because of the rain, I guess. I don't know, whatever. And I got her mail. I got her mail the last time too. All right, y'all. I dropped all three of them into carts off. Last person tipped me three dollars something, so you know where they're going. Right on the naughty list. And now, Miss Barber usually orders from Food Lion, which is right across the street from her house, but she ordered from Wegmans. And this last order kind of brought me out by the Wegmans, so this is great. And she only ordered 10 items, and I get 20 bucks. phone one of my friends but got another instacart $19.86 I think it was almost seven miles this one's going kind of far but it was only 14 items I don't know that doesn't seem right I don't remember anyway it's not that many items much right after dropping off that last instacart i got this one 24 dollars 66 cents oh going three or four miles i think it was 22 items two customers one of them got seven items the other got 18 easy order getting tired but I got another Instacart $19.61 going three and a half miles 29 items one customer oh. Thursday morning now, y'all. It is, what time is it? Crack of dawn, right at seven o'clock. Food line opens at seven o'clock. So they sent me this order like a couple minutes before the store opened. It's like 63 bucks. I think it was going 20 miles. I'm going on a road trip. And it was only like 40 items, 40 or 41 items, I think. Might be more than that. But either way, the, the third, there's three customers and the first two got like seven and eight items. So they probably didn't tip good, but we'll, we'll give them their one low cost delivery before we put them on the naughty list. That's no problem. And then the third person, they ordered 40 items. It's got to be 50 something items total. Anyway, they ordered 40 something items and 
they just got like two, three, four of everything. So there's like a hundred and something units. So this order is going to be huge, but it's 60, 63 bucks. I want that because yesterday at the end of Thursday night, I was at what? $560 for the week. So if I can make $140 today, that'll put me with 700 by Friday. And then I only got to make $100 on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I hit my goal. Oh my God. This order is ridiculous. Like that is order B, that's order A. All of this, and all of that is order A. Order C, sorry. All right, y'all, a little update here. I have driven so god dang far. I don't even know where I am, but I'll tell you this. I shopped at Food Line, and look, would you look at that? I'm going past the Food Line right now. There's definitely a Food Line way closer to both of these people, now, all three of these people. So why did I get this order at my food line. I, I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Hello. Hi. We're right here waiting for you. Oh. Wow. Yeah, when I was shopping, I was like, who needs this much stuff? <laughs> now now this you make, know. This makes sense. <laughs> 15 people live at the pear tree. 15. Yeah. Our, we have two ladies that are 102 years old. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This sauce? Yep, everything, everything is here. You want to give me that bag? You can get it, yeah. It's, it's got cans in it. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yep. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thanks. All right. So there we go. Drop that Instacart off. It's now almost nine o'clock. I got a 20 minute drive home. So what are we talking about here? We got like two and a half hours to make 60 bucks and I drove 40 miles. So that was not the best, not the worst, but I'm pretty sure you all heard the last one I delivered to was an assisted living. And I was gonna talk crap about how they ordered so much freaking drinks and stuff, but 15 people live there so it makes sense why they would order so much stuff and they are the only ones who actually tip me a decent amount the second customer i got my car gps going but anyway the second customer tipped me 550 and then it got cut down to 450 because i couldn't get him a bag of french fries and normally i wouldn't put someone on the naughty list for a five dollar and fifty cent order but they live 15 miles away from my house so it's really instacart's fault for pairing them with me but they made it on my naughty list because I'm not delivering to them anymore. I'm not driving this far out to deliver food. And that first customer, oh, they can sit on it and spin. All right, y'all. Got another Instacart. I made it back home. I made my coffee. First sip. Mmm. It's hot. And what else did I do? Oh, yeah, I got another Instacart. Duh. 21 bucks going 1.7 miles. I want to say 14 items to customers. It's crazy when I get these orders where it's like not going anywhere. But one of them got five, six packs of Mountain Dew. That's kind of what I'm getting tired of with Instacart. Like somebody left me a comment that said you can turn heavy pay off. And I'm, I'm debating it because I am getting so many orders that are just nothing but cases of soda, gallons of milk. I guess I'm just not strong enough. That's what Instacart's telling me. I need to bulk up.
All right, got another Instacart, not too long after that last one. This one's not really the best, but there's a reason why I'm doing it. So it's two customers, 17 bucks. Normally I don't like to shop for two customers unless it's 20 bucks, but I don't know, it's easy. It's 26 items. Both the customers are dropping off like across the street from Wegmans. So Instacart gonna give me a $40 order and then I'm gonna be done before 11 or 12 a.m. before noon today. So I dropped the first Instacart order off and like as I was pulling up in front of the house, a car pulled around the corner and waved and then she got out the car and said the name of the Instacart order. So I gave it to her. So hopefully it was her order. If it wasn't, she had inside information. Right after dropping off that Instacart, turned on Uber. Somehow this is the first order that hit my phone. It's uh, seven something going three and a half miles, tropical smoothie. Tropical smoothie sounds pretty good. But the best part about this Uber is it leaves me in the general vicinity of Giant and Wegmans and Safeway and Aldi. So, oh, oh, if I see a good Instacart while I'm doing this Uber, you know, we'll take the Uber. No, we'll take the Instacart, finish the Uber, then do the Instacart. It's been a minute since I did the last Instacart, but I got another one. This is a good one. It's $39, 40 items. I think it was less than three miles. I think it was only like two miles. And uh, one customer shopping at Food Line. So this will be an easy one. All right, so that's another video done. Thank you for coming along for the journey. Uh, if this is your first time coming along for the journey, click on the shoes, subscribe to the channel, maybe check out one of the suggested videos. You know, leave me a comment. Do, do whatever you want to do. Take it easy.